Our breaking news tonight. One person is in the hospital with serious injuries and a suspect still on the loose after a stabbing near the Gallatin Valley Mall in Bozeman. MTN's Cody Boyer is live with the latest. Cody. Good evening, Caitlin. Now, just as about 15 minutes ago, police here, Bozeman City Police, cleared the yellow tape from around the parking lot and from the driveway near the Petco here in the parking lot of the Gallatin Valley Mall. But a, the call came originally around 6 o'clock earlier this evening for a reports of a fight near the mall. Now, according to Bozeman City Police, again, a male suspect stabbed another man. We can now confirm the victim was a man as well near the Petco parking lot and ran into the mall where police searched for him with armed officers and a canine unit for upwards to four or rather two hours. That's two hours in correction. Now the victim in the stabbing was taken to the hospital with what was told were serious injuries and police do believe this to be an isolated incident at this time. Right now police, they just finished up combing the area of grass near the parking lot where, where what they said was for key evidence. They could not confirm what that was at this time, but all the activity right now was centered around that Petco parking lot. Now, police safely escorted people out of the mall, but they are still advising the public while it is closed at this hour, it is a good idea to steer clear of this area while the investigation continues. We would ask that the general public stay away from the mall for the evening uh, if, if they don't have some type of an emergency to come down here. Uh, and that is for their own safety, but it's also for uh, to not complicate the, the issues down here while we uh, look for a suspect and process a crime scene and conduct an investigation. Now, as of a few minutes ago as well, I did confirm that they have not caught a suspect yet. They're following several leads at this time, but the danger to the public, there isn't any anymore. They were able to confirm that there is no further sa uh, safe safety concerns for the public. And the marketing director was, they did escort us off the property. They said they were not going to give comment tonight, but they did say they could comment tomorrow. Live in Bozeman, Cody Boyer, back to you, Caitlin. All right, thank you so much for that, Cody. And we'll continue to update you on air, online, and on our apps.